There is no question it's unconstitutional. And in fact, I've got my rule book open here and was preparing for the proper point to raise a point of order objection. Uh, but uh, then fortunately, I was talking to Dave Camp just a while ago. Dave has made clear it is clearly unconstitutional. And so it's easier for a committee chair to uh, get the floor and and make that point of order objection, but it's not going to be necessary. He will make sure that that gets done. So it is unconstitutional, and actually Obamacare was unconstitutional. And I was hoping that in the underlying, the original case that went to the Supreme Court, someone would raise uh, the origination clause, that anything that raises revenue must originate in the House. And that was not raised. It should have been raised, because they took, the Senate took a bill that was providing a tax credit for first-time home buyers who were veterans in the military. And they, you look at the Senate bill, it begins at line one, page one of that tax credit for home buyers, military veterans, those type of things. And it deletes beginning line one, page one, and all after and substitutes therein, Obamacare. Well, you can't do that. And, and I know I've had some people that hadn't really studied the issue who have said, well, Louie, I was told that uh, that issue had been litigated before the Supreme Court, and so it doesn't matter as long as they take a House bill number and they can stick anything in there. I said, no, what has been litigated and what the law is currently on the very few cases that have ever been taken up, the uh, case law makes clear it can be done so long as the replacing bill or additional language is um, uh, it's pertaining to that. And if it is not, then it is not constitutional. And uh, I believe the word they use is germane. It must be germane to the original bill. Well, you've got two, three thousand pages of health care and other things like the president getting a bunch of commission, non-commissioned officer corps that answer only to him, a lot of other stuff in there, uh, dictating to restaurants and vendors and all kinds. Of, there's all kinds of stuff in there, but it has nothing to do with a tax credit for, for uh, home buyers, first-time home buyers. So it was not germane. It should have been struck because it did not originate in the House. And as I understand it, there is currently a case uh, that's trying to work its way to the Supreme Court to have that ruled on. Another angle. Yeah. It was, it was an appropriate angle that should have been raised first.